Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you're returning. This is going to be an April mid-month check-in for the Earth Sign Collective Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Uh, I decided to do elemental readings for mid-months as a check-in, so I hope that you enjoy these. I have a very special collection of decks for you. We're using True North Tarot uh, as your tarot deck, Starlight Frequencies Oracle Cards, and the Tarot Key Goddess Oracles, all by Dark Moon Crystals, so you can find her um, online, on Instagram, Facebook, etc. I'll put um, all of the information in the description box. So let's get into your readings. Happy early birthday to all of the Taurus who are celebrating their birthdays in April. We have a new moon in Taurus at the end of April, and that's um, coinciding with the solar eclipse in the sign of Taurus as well. So big Taurian energy about to come in. So excited for that. And um, let's get you some messages. At the end of the reading, I'll pull three cards, one for Taurus, one for Virgo, and one for Capricorn. So you'll each get your own message at the end of the reading. These are general messages. So as as always, never give up your power to a reading or to a reader. Only take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't try to make the messages fit. All right. So thank you, angels, guides, ascended masters of the highest love and light, highest and best messages for the Earth Sign Collective, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. If you're cross-watching, the messages may actually be for you. And for everyone, please feel free to swap around the characters. So let's see what we have for the Earth Sign Collective. All right, so we got the Ace of Coins. Beautiful. This is that new moon in Taurus coming in right here, okay? And it's funny because I did fire and I did um, air already, and I used different tarot decks. I decided to switch it up, and I forget which one. I think it was Fire Signs got the Ace of Coins. So new opportunity. It's a new... Um, income stream. It's more money. It's uh, if you've been looking for that perfect place to live or city to live in, new project, whatever it is, the ace is there. The portal is open for you um, April mid-month, which is really nice. And we're getting the page of swords. I love this little guy, like this little squirrel. Um, so yeah, you may have been sort of like saving your pennies for a rainy day, or um, you really took a lot of care um, to sort of like, um, you know, plant your, um, not plant your seeds, but like to bury your seeds. And now this is where they're ready. Like they're ripe, they're, um, they're fertile, like they're ready to be uncovered. Um, this is air energy that's coming in. So it feels like a really fresh energy, a really new energy. You could be dealing with a younger air sign here and we're getting the world. Wow, this is really amazing for you. So this is like, for especially for the Taurians, but this is hitting Virgo and Capricorn as well, where there is this sort of ending to a cycle. Um, this is like a big, big chapter in your life that... Uh, you have the opportunity to close out now and sort of start over. Um, it's showing where you're having this kind of beginner's mind with the Page of Swords, having an open mind, keeping an open mind. It's a clearing of the mind um, because you've been through this really, really big chapter in your life. You've learned a lot of lessons. You um, are very wise now. Like there's a specific thing that you sort of have a mastery over now. And the world is a card of Saturn. So it shows that this may have been a very long cycle. It's like you've learned a lot of hard lessons uh, and you're ready for something new. So um, some of you could be deciding to go to school. You're researching and investigating where in the world do you want to go? Um, what in the world do you want to do? It feels very big. It feels sort of um, general, like you're really starting to do research on something. I do feel that if money is a concern, you're going to have resources coming to you from unexpected places um, or even just resources or skill. Like, do you have enough skill to do this thing? Because this world energy, like it feels really big. It's very expansive. It's something that um, for some of you, it could involve a lot of travel or it could involve going somewhere pretty far away or moving somewhere that you never would have expected. Um, and it feels like, you know, I love this because if you look at this skyscraper here, the sword is almost that big. So it's showing where 
you definitely have a lot of courage because I see like this little squirrel, he has so much courage to take this giant sword. Um, and it's showing where it's pointed up. So it's almost like receiving downloads from the universe, like looking to receive guidance from the universe, but the portal's open. So this is definitely something that you can achieve. Um, it may require that you get a lot of research. It may require that you sort of like um, figure things out, be a bit of an investigator. Uh, we got the Six of Swords. So yes, it's a transition for some of you. I feel like that's the Taj Mahal there. Um, this is where, you know, uh, it's sort of leaving the past in the past. It's a transitional time for you. You may be taking like a long trip. I'm definitely feeling some of that for you. Taking a trip, um, moving away from even just the workings of your own mind. Um, it's like getting balance inside of your mind. So um, very analytical energy that's here. And we'll see what that's with. The Hanged Man. And let's get your last card. And the Knight of Coins. Really, really nice. Um, so this does feel like something, it's not necessarily going to happen overnight with the Hanged Man and the Knight of Coins. It feels as if there is some kind of um, a perspective shift. It's like you may have to um, take some time to figure this out. The Ace is there. It is about getting more information. And a lot of this information is actually coming from you with the hanged man. A lot of it's actually coming from you. Um, I love this like sort of palm tree being upside down there and it's inside of a nursery. So this is like um, a cacti nursery. So it's something that's being born for you. It's something that you're really tending to. You're really gonna be like planning things out it's one step at a time. It's sort of um, goal setting. It's This is Virgo coming out, Virgo and Pisces here. And it's sort of like, it's something that you're going to tend to. It's, it's you're going to really uh, make sure that there's enough sunlight, that's the proper amount of water, that the temperature, the conditions are fine. And in that, you're going to receive a new perspective. The Page of Swords with the Hanged Man is definitely all about perspective. I feel that this Six of Swords, for many of you, it's not so much about like actually going somewhere, although that may be part of the plan, um, but it's about getting your mind right. So if you've been having a lot of doubts, um, I don't know, like doubting yourself, doubting the situation, I feel this sort of energy of where do I go and what do I do? What in the world do I do? Where in the world do I go? It may be a much broader perspective. Like things in your life may look good. You may have a place um, that you like living in or a city that it's fine. You've been there for a long time, the world. But there's just something that's sort of calling to you. And I feel that April mid-month is where you're able to gain um like the way forward. It's like an aha moment. But in order to do that, you kind of have to surrender into this energy. Um, it takes a sort of mm, like a, a patience in order to do that. The Knight of Coins is very patient. He knows how to move slowly. He's not in a rush. Um, the world with the Knight of Coins and the Hanged Man, this is a slower moving energy and it's a message from Earth. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but also a message from the elements of Earth. And um, generally speaking, our Earth energy, it does move very slowly. It's not in a rush. It takes its time. It can take, you know, hundreds, if not thousands of years uh, for something to grow. And uh, some of the earth energy can be fast, like think of rushing water or lightning, but the actual like energy of earth, um, it's very, very slow moving. So I feel that that's a big message for you all is like, yes, this feels like a long time coming. It's something that um, you really, like you really, um, I don't know, like you've been thinking about for a long time because I'm seeing the swords energy. It's been like uh, something up in your mind that you've really been thinking of. Um, but there's something surprising coming, something almost you don't see coming. That's the Ace of Coins because we're starting with the Ace of Coins and that's the most powerful energy in the whole reading is the first card. So there's like something that you don't see coming. So I'm feeling like be open to miracles, be open to new connections. The Page of Swords has that open mind. Um, you can allow yourself to speak freely this month. You can allow yourself to communicate where it feels good to communicate um, and sort of keep it 
light, keep it sort of childlike. Um, because with the world coming out, I see that you do have a lot of hard earned wisdom. You know, you've been through this big cycle, so there is a wisdom about you, but just keeping that open mind, being, you know, networking, communicating, having that curiosity, putting your feelers out, um, talking to a lot of people. And maybe for some of you, you're going to like plan a sort of, um, like you're a scout. I'm seeing you as scouting these things out, whether you're doing it online or you're actually planning a trip to go somewhere. Maybe you're going to visit a school. Maybe you're going to visit a city. Um, you know, it could be so many different things. So it's not that you're stuck, but it's that uh, something wants to reveal itself to you. And I do feel that it's coming from within. It's coming from within you. So, all right, let's check the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I'm feeling like it, it is something like expect the unexpected. We're getting the tower at the bottom with the six of wands. So it's like a sudden flash. You may not be here very long um, sort of surrendering or having to sacrifice something um, because it's something sudden. It's something sudden that leads to victory. That's the six of wands. Like you're going to be seen. You're going to be received. Um, for some of you, like it's receiving some kind of award or a high accolade or winning something. It's victory. So it's like you're coming back from sort of the battle of like the fives because we're seeing two six, two sixes, like the battle, the change, the conflict that happens within the fives. And there's something suddenly, it sort of comes out of nowhere. It's the divine coming in for you. It's divine intervention. It's something really, um, sudden or shocking, but it's there for your victory. So it's um, with that ace of coins. And I was feeling this sort of like, be open to a miracle, be open to some kind of possibility, um, help in unexpected places. Absolutely. So, all right, let's get you a few messages um, from the starlight frequencies. And then I will pull some Oracle cards, uh, one for Taurus, one for Virgo, one for Capricorn. We'll get you some goddess energy. So let's see what we have from the starlight frequencies. We'll take two cards. So thank you to the angels and guides. Highest and best messages for the Earth Sign Collective April mid-month of 2022. And I hope you love these decks as much as I do. Okay, sacred prayer, beautiful, number 23. That's the energy of the five. All you must do is ask, call upon the Ascended Masters for guidance, and we see the dove. So, and then we also see the hand there. So I'm feeling like this is the hand of God that's coming in. Um, you are going to be leveling up your life. It's almost like there's just like with the world coming out, it's almost, and we see the hands there too. It's almost like there's some kind of like energetic loose ends or you're tying up loose ends you know, um, before you can take flight. So before you can take off, before you can take flight, before the, um, the ascension happens, before the energy really shifts, um, the ace is there. Just don't forget that. And, uh, I feel that spirits also like, you know, with this knight of coins, getting really grounded, rolling the sleeves up, plan what you can. Like, um, you don't have to like do everything. It's like one, like, um, your small efforts make a big difference. They add up and remember sacred prayer. So a lot of you, um, this really is something I was feeling. It's something that you're really wishing for, hoping for, desiring. Um, the dove speaks of like freedom, lightness, um, the, the dove holds an olive branch. So I feel uh, it's so etheric here. The colors are so light with all of these like whites, um, and almost like glowing white and then the blues and everything. So there's a spiritual energy that's around all of this without a doubt. There's a big spiritual energy that's around all of this. So I'm feeling for some of you that this is like, um, connected into your life path, like with the hanged man, it's where, uh, maybe you've sacrificed a lot in your life um, to be where you are right now. Like you're someone who you will sacrifice um, to do the work. You will sacrifice for your family, for what you love. And I feel that that's sort of like what you're evaluating right now is where you're at with regards to that. Uh, there's something that 
like I said, it's just some loose ends that you're going to be tying up. You have this really big sword. So remember that too. Like I feel really the air element is with the earth signs right now. Um, obviously the earth energy is there with you too, but I'm feeling like the air element is with you too. So getting outside into the fresh air, um, whatever your methodology is behind prayer or manifestation, talking to your angels, whatever that looks like, talking directly to God's source, um, that's it's potent right now because you're connected to the air energy of spirit. And we also get infinite vastness. And here's your portal that's open. So like that ace of coins with this sort of, um, you know, it's almost like a cenote that goes out into the ocean, this beautiful um, open airy cave, that's your portal. And here's your other portal. Amazing earth sign. Stop playing small. Um, that's why I felt like this was such an expansive, big energy with the world there. So there, it is something bigger that many of you are looking to achieve. It could be a bigger love. Like you're calling in uh, the love of your life. That's you're putting, you know, your um, sort of uh, on the, on the mission of having like, uh, the most beautiful relationship you've ever had or live in a place that's been your dream, or this is the business of your dream, the job of your dream, or just yourself, just in general, even if nothing else is really changing except for a, pers a perspective or a way of thinking or feeling that's inside of you. Um, number four, so that goes back to like the emperor energy, stop playing small. Your universe wants you to be fully in your power. Um, so, and I love that because like I said, we have the new moon in Taurus with a solar eclipse in Taurus, which is gonna, you know, it's there for all earth signs this month and we're getting into eclipse season. So this is your portal, infinite vastness. Um, it is very vast with that world. So I don't know, for some of you, it's like you've always, you know, especially um, with the world sort of being restricted with travel over the past few years, you're planning that trip of a lifetime. It's something like that. And slow and steady here is going to win the race, you know, so um, just really get your plans in order, follow through with them. Um, Virgo is ruled by Mercury. So it, it's a good time to like, uh, get your mind balanced and sort of like, you know, do the analytics around it, whatever that looks like for you. And at the bottom of the deck, we're getting card number one uh, with universal consciousness. You have merged in pure alignment with the universe. You are connected with everything. And that's why you're getting the world. Um, you've been around the world. You've been around the block. This isn't your first rodeo. This isn't your first time here. Um, it, it's showing this wisdom that you have. So because of that, because of like this sort of alignment that you're feeling right now, it's a time to stop playing small because of that. It's like um, there's just something bigger for you. And I'm almost... Uh, this is a really interesting sort of geometry here or figure because it almost looks like infin the infinity sign. It almost looks like a vesica Pisces, um, but it's like the sun in the middle of that. So you're getting like, um, you know, you're getting sort of this interesting energy of infinity, but you're also getting like the light of the sun. It's like there's infinite rays here. So your light is growing. That's something that I'm seeing. The light within you is growing um, because the world energy can be heavy. So I feel like you've learned a lot of really um, tough lessons along the way. And now um, you're seeing where your own light is really growing. And that's really nice. So, all right, let's get a card for each of the earth signs. So we'll start with Taurus, then we'll go to Virgo, and then we will go to Capricorn. Calling in the energy of the goddess. All right, my beautiful Taurians, you're getting Hera with resilience. Obstacles are preparation for greater accomplishment. Yeah, that's that world energy. Definitely, um, it's been, you know, it's been a long journey for you. Um, I think that you're seeing uh, just how strong you are, really. I think you're seeing how strong you are. I think 
Um, it has been also purifying for you. So along this path, you've really cleared a lot of um, karmic density. You've, um, I feel like you've really made good with a lot of relationships in your life. Like there's this uh, sense of like having a pride in yourself for a job well done. Like I feel that along the way you may have had a lot of uh, people perhaps not do right by you or there were just you know, situations that uh, didn't work out the way that you would have hoped. But I'm feeling this uh, clearing for Taurus. Like, you've cleared a lot of density. You've made good on a lot of your promises. Um, and yes, there have been lots of obstacles and challenges. Um, but you are seeing how strong you are. And it's been a preparation for you, like an initiation, so to speak. Because she almost, to me, like, looks like she's holding... Um, it's almost like a bouquet, but it's of um you know like when you're when you're at the ocean and you get like that sort of like ocean seaweed or whatever like the the plants that are in the ocean, it's almost like a bouquet of that. She's having an illumination there because she has the halo around her head, and we see that with the hanged man, and the hanged man is a card of Pisces, so it's like a deep psychological transformation that Taurus has been through. Um, you're very resilient, Taurus, so that's really beautiful, and let's see what we have for Virgo. Oh, you get Hecate with solitude, sort of that hermit energy. Uh, simplify your thoughts, give yourself space. Not everything needs to be done right now. So Virgo, you've been working hard. You've been putting in the effort. It's uh, You've had a lot going on. And I feel that um, for the month of you know April and even going into May is a great time for you to really get outdoors, connect with nature, connect with your earth element. Look at, uh, she's got four hands here. So it even has that sort of Durga energy. And in one hand, she's got a key. In the other hand, she's got a serpent. So that's, you know, absolutely about shedding old skin. It's a Kundalini. It's an activation. Uh, it's a sort of death and rebirth. Um, and in this hand, she's got fire, beautiful. So she's carrying a sacred flame. You're carrying a, a key that's gonna unlock a door for you. And this hand is empty. So I love that because it's like, you know, you don't have to carry everything, allow something just to be empty and have space because you can fill that space with peace and quiet um, and in that space, you're going to figure out the way forward. Like that's where you have your aha moment. So for Virgo, it's really about, you know, um, taking time out for yourself, really doing some self-care in a real way. Um, and like, look at how magical this place looks, you know? So if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, you know, it's about getting outside during the springtime and really appreciating the beauty that's around you. Even if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, fall is such an amazing time. So that's for you, Virgo. And for my cappies out there, amazing. The mighty, mighty Aphrodite. It says feminine power for Capricorn. I embrace my sensuality and deepen my inner love. I seek the beauty in everything. I mean, she's literally the pearl in the shell. She's um, uh, all of this water around her. So your opposite sign of cancer is coming in for you. Uh, all of this beautiful, sensual, gorgeous, um, lily pond, lotus flower energy. It's about seeing your own beauty. Um, the feminine power, whether you're masculine or feminine, wants to be there for Capricorn. So again, about receiving, about nurturing, you know, um, getting into your sort of receiving place. And that's that can be the hanged man. You know, it's like um, taking that time to just surrender to sur whatever it is that you need to surrender to. Surrender to more rest. Surrender to more play. Surrender to more downtime. Whatever that looks like for you, um, this is sort of what that's representing in this feminine power energy. So, um, you know, for many of you, this could be many of you Capricorns about just, again, really loving yourself, seeing your own beauty. Um, I think she is, she's got, yep, she has a giant piece of rose quartz in her hand there. And it's almost like we can't even see her other hand. So for some of you, there may be something hidden that's coming to light, like a, a beautiful surprise for you. You can connect with rose quartz. Pearls will even be helpful. 
the water is very important for Capricorns uh, April mid-month. So I see the beauty in everything. I embrace my sensuality and deepen my inner love. So those were your messages. My dear earth signs, I hope that you enjoyed this reading. Really, really hope it was helpful and that it resonated. Please do hit the like button. Please do share and subscribe as you see fit. If you'd like to book a personal session, you can email me elizabethlight1111 at gmail.com. I'd love to connect with you and I'm wishing you all nothing but the best. Take care. Namaste.